During hurricane season and advance notice of a storm, it can help you prepare, and there's a team of meteorologists that do just that. Weather Authority meteorologist and anchor Janice Harris spoke with the National Weather Prediction Center on how they keep you informed ahead of a storm. This is a historical track of one of the oldest documented hurricanes, unnamed 1928. It peaked to a Category 5 storm on September 13th before cutting through the Bahamas, Miami, Central Florida, and Jacksonville, where it was a Category 1. Unnamed 1928 then headed north along the eastern coast and toward Toronto, Canada. The time to warn for a hurricane has improved in the last 100 years. A hurricane watch can be activated within 48 hours of landfall. A weather warning could come from the Weather Prediction Center. And there are some aspects of um, experience um, and past events. So uh, we have actually a tool that we can look at past hurricanes, compare with what the, cur the, the current one is, like central pressure, how big it is, um, and get analog cases uh, and see how the rainfall patterns looked in those past cases and use that to help us forecast as well. Research and experience have taught scientists that though a slow moving storm may give you time to prepare, it may also do the most damage. We find that a lot of the most impactful storms in terms of rainfall and flooding uh, are often moving in the slowest 10 to 20 percent of storms for a given area. Hurricane Harvey 2017 moved slowly across Texas, leaving behind record-breaking rainfall amounts. And in 2008, Tropical Storm Fay produced a lot of rainfall around the Tallahassee area. All those were among the slowest 10 to 20 percent of storms in that respective area. And so that's something that we often key in on in terms of uh, forecasting the rainfall and flooding. As Lamers uses the present and past to accurately predict the next storm, he says being prepared and never waiting until the last minute is always the best option, no matter how fast or slow a storm is moving. Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.